Don't drive on Halloween night. Cars should not by Caitlin. Cars should not be able to drive from 5.30 to 7.30. It would be great if we tried to make that happen because the walking space would be clear for walking and kids would enjoy trick-or-treating more if no cars drove by. It would be good if no cars drove by because it would be safer and kids would not have to wait for the car to pass by. People would appreciate other people in the town better for not driving. Halloween would be better and more fun for everyone. It's a problem that kids and adults can get hurt on Halloween because a kid could race to the next house and a car hit the kid. For example, if a kid wore a dark costume and the car didn't see the kid, the trick-or-treater would most likely get hurt. For, ex for instance, once I wore a dark costume that was black, it was a witch, and I almost got hit by a car, I could have gotten hurt. Kids hate when they wait for cars to go by. They get more frustrated each time. For example, if a kid can't wait to go to their favorite house, um, the kid can get and um, but a car wait, but a car came needs to pass by first. I have to wait for it. Also, sometimes you would be walking across the street, a car would honk at you, and you would be forced to cross the street faster. Cars should not drive on Halloween from 5:30 to 7:30. Almost all the people would stop getting hurt if that happened. Maybe you're wondering, how can people get around? You can get around by walking instead of driving so kids can walk on Halloween with no problems. You can also drive somewhere earlier than 5.30 because most kids would not have started trick-or-treating yet. Maybe you're wondering, if someone gets hurt and needs an ambulance, how can they get around quickly? Instead of driving normally, it can put the signs up. The people would hear it and wait for it to drive by. It would be much safer and kids would be more happy.